We were going to take photos in the photo booth of the game center by the train station for our dating anniversary. Which photo booth do you want, Sakuto? To be honest, I don't know at all. Well then, you can leave this to me! Yeah, thanks. This was Chikage Usami. She had tied her hair to the left with a little ribbon, and her small little ears were really cute. She had a classiness and elegance to her, and she was a beautiful girl, but she also had a great figure, and a sexiness to her. Sakuto, what are you thinking about right now? No, just... just that I still can't believe it. You mean, that you're dating me like this right now? Yeah, but this isn't a dream, right? This was Hikari Usami. She was always bubbly, and had a playful smile on her face. Just like Chikage, she had a great figure, and she always sticks onto me without realizing how close she is. Which is troublesome. I never imagined that the day would come that I would also be dating a girl like this. Sakuto, you're getting way too close to Hikari's side! What? I'm pretty sure he's getting too close to you, Chikage. Now, now, both of you! The more they fight, the more I can feel the softness on my body. I, Sakuto Takayashiki, got a girlfriend. Two, at the same time. I was just a nobody, but all of a sudden, I was dating these two Usami sisters. However... If this happens, then I guess we have no choice. Sakuto, can the twins both stick to your side? Both of them were just too cute. Then I didn't know what to do. The reason why all of this happened goes back to about the middle of May. <sighs> Is it still not up? At the high school I attend, Arisuyama Academy, there was an evil custom. Which was... We will now post the ranking list. Of course, photography is not allowed, and do not post it to social media. That's right. That they would post up class rankings for all to see. The rankings were not just within a class, or just by name, but all of the combined scores would be displayed for all to see up to 50th place. They don't think at all about the security of personal information, or the risk of this getting out on social media, this was probably because Arisuyama Academy has the pride of being the top-class prestigious high school in this part of the state. You knew this when you entered school, right? So... there it is! Eighth place. At least I made it into the top ten. Takayashiki, do you have a minute? What? Miss Usami? Yes, hello! Yes, hello! It's not it! As I was trying to go to the cafeteria, Miss Usami from Class A spoke to me. I didn't know of her to an extent, but... What? Why do you look so mad? M mad I'm not mad! More importantly, what were the results? I was in 8th place, but you were in 1st place, weren't you? Congratulations! Ugh, thank you very much. <sighs> Why didn't you actually try your best? Try my best? What do you mean? If you were to actually put in some effort, you should be able to get first place. Did you purposely not try hard? Why is she coming at me like a battle manga? No. I just ran out of time. I just received the backlash of Arisuyama Academy. Ah, <laughs> uh, stairs! Is she doubting me? I thought that maybe I should explain the actual situation to her now. So... I know! If you'd like! Do you want to go to the cafeteria together? You're inviting me out out of nowhere? Is that not okay? I, I brought my own lunch, so I am interested. But I am, but... If we were a couple, then I think it would be okay for us to have lunch together, but... I see. So in order to invite you to have lunch, then it means I have to be in a relationship with you. So does that mean that you have a desire to be in a relationship with me? Oh, no, 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 I, I was just thinking, that's that's really excessive for just lunch. Th that's what it means for a guy and a girl to have lunch together! Uh, I see. So what Miss Usami was really trying to say was, Are you inviting me with the understanding that everybody around us might think that we're a couple? Hm, that must be it. She shouldn't worry so much what others think. Well then, whenever we have the chance, we can talk then. Oh, wait a minute! We were still in the middle of a conversation. If we ever have the chance. Hey, no, that's out of the question. However... Wait a minute! Ah! Blah! Apparently, 
somebody who was crowded around the rankings chart had pushed her in the back, and I had stopped her with my chest. It all happened so fast, my arms naturally fell around her shoulders and her waist. Miss Usami, are you okay? Uh, uh... If you seem okay, then I'm gonna go now, okay? Y yes Well, just like that, Miss Usami was a little bit of a strange girl. But actually, within the school, she was a little bit of a celebrity. Just like me, she was a transfer student that entered the academy from the high school entrance exam. Along with the entrance exam, she got first place with a midterm test this time too. On top of that, she's beautiful, and she's a brilliant student who's reliable. Within the freshman class, everybody talks about her. You're talking about Miss Usami, aren't you? I heard that she got a perfect score on the national exam for the 8th graders last year, and she was first place. You mean the one where the score average is 97? From what I hear, apparently she just went to a regular public middle school. Seriously? Seriously? Wait, isn't that what they call a genius? I heard that your IQ score is based on your genes, right? She's smart, and she has a great figure. And she's cute! Oh, that's so unfair. That is true that maybe she has a good foundation to work with, but... I know that she works really hard, and that's why she is where she is today. And just like that, it doesn't mean that all of the rumors were good. However, to internal students like those, which means the people who enter the high school like an escalator, she must be an eyesore for them. But I knew how hard Miss Usami worked for her results, because I went to the same preschool as her. And that's why Miss Usami and I... Um, Takeyashiki. What? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, are you okay? Suddenly, she was standing right beside me, and I was shocked. I was about to be in danger of flying to the other side of the sky. Can I help you with something? Uh, I wanted to thank you for earlier. Thank you very much for helping me. Oh. You... you came all the way just to say that? Y yes Well then, I'll excuse myself now. And then she disappeared. Because she stood out, there were bad rumors about her as well. I'm sure she gets hit every single time one gets out. But I did want to become more friendly with her. She was a serious and hard-working girl. On top of that, she was somebody that could properly say thank you. H hey did you hear some funny rumors about her? Seriously, she's a wonderful girl, isn't she? She's really nice, and she seriously studies hard. She makes me want to learn from her. Uh -huh. I made sure to talk to myself extra loudly. Rumors were so stupid, and it shouldn't be a given to be hit by them all the time. Even though reality wasn't so kind, I at least wanted to be on her side. It might be hard to jump into a relationship with her, but one of these days, I wanted to invite her to lunch again. However, the incident took a turn about two days after that. Is that Miss Usami? No, but wait. I was sure that it was definitely Miss Usami, but she was wearing her school uniform really sloppily. She had headphones around her neck, and she was heading towards the arcade. I might have been seeing things, but I wanted to be sure. And then, I happened to see the unimaginable. In the fighting games corner, Miss Usami was playing against random people. Damn it! How's that high school girl so strong? She's been coming here every day these days. I can't believe that Miss Usami had a side like this to her. Uh, Miss Usami? I'm in the middle of a match right now, so I would prefer if you don't talk to me. Oh, sorry. If you really want to talk to me, then I'll do it if you go against me and win. I see. So I just have to win. Well then, if I win, can we talk? <laughs> that is, if you win. And so, I picked up the game controllers to go against her. Little did she know that I had actually played the game quite a lot. And against Miss Usami, I won in straight games. You're pretty strong, aren't you? I didn't think that I was actually gonna lose. Uh, you are actually Miss Usami, right? Yeah, I am. Why? Well, you know, we speak differently than you do when you're in school, and you dress differently. Oh, that's right. 
Did something get stuck in her throat? Uh, anyway, you over there. Did you need something from me? Oh yeah. Are you messing around? I am not messing around! <coughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. How is it normally? Did something get stuck in her throat and mess with her brain? <clears throat> um, how can I help you? Oh, she's finally back to normal. There's actually a lot that I want to ask you. First, why are you at the arcade? Um, I guess for logic and justice? For what? For stress relief and those names. Oh, so this was just a little bit of stress relief, wasn't it? Well then, what about those headphones? I've never seen those before. Oh, these are called Con 01V, and the newest bottle of the Canon series. Of course they have noise cancellation and... Uh, sorry, maybe I didn't ask the right way. Do you usually carry those around? Well, sometimes? This is about you! Why was that a question? Even still, her smile sure is cute. Normally she doesn't smile that much. But maybe she was in a good mood today because she was really bubbly and smiley. She seemed like she was enjoying the conversation, and she didn't have the nervousness that she seemed to have the other day. However, something still felt off. Hmm? You keep staring at me. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. I just thought that your smile was cute. What? What did you just say? Oh, uh, uh, forget I said anything. Oh, oh, why do you say it so straightforward to my face? That's going to make me blush. Sorry. Did I freak you out? No, I'm happy. Nobody ever calls me cute usually, so... But you know, I'm like this, so I guess I'm a gamer. So maybe I freaked you out? Not at all. I like people who work so hard in anything, you know? <laughs> you like, huh? But then suddenly, her face came extremely close to mine and... What's wrong? Shh, behind you. Turn around quietly. What? Behind? When I turned around, one of the teachers from my academy was pacing around over there. I guess today's date is over already. Uh, what do you mean, date? But also, what are you doing? Marking, I thought I should leave my scent on you. You really are pretty great. These hands, I like them. What? Well then, see you again soon. Uh, Miss Usami? My heart was racing. My whole body was getting hot. It was at that moment I thought, this feeling, could it be? You! You're a student from Arisuyama Academy, aren't you? What? Uh, I'm sorry! Say your name in class right now! Or maybe it was racing out of fear before I was about to get caught. And I did get caught! <sighs> I wish I could become better friends with Sakuto. I, Chikage Usami, didn't know what to do. This may be part of my personality, but I wasn't able to be more sincere in front of the person that I like. I wonder how Sakuto thinks of me. Why do you keep sighing today? What? Hey, Kari! Uh, when did you get home? Earlier, I tried to get your attention, but you weren't responding. Is something on your mind? Uh, nothing! This was my twin sister. She was identical to me, Hikari. But also, where were you today? <laughs> That's a secret. Sheesh, if you keep skipping school, you're gonna get held back, you know. Ever since elementary school, Hikari tended to skip school a lot. She may seem like a free spirit, but I think that there is something deeper to it. By the way, Hikari, did something that happen today? Yeah, it's about that. But is there a guy that you're particularly friendly with school? One person briefly crossed my mind. But he was a guy that I wanted to be friendly with. No, not really. There is somebody that I spoke to a little bit recently, but... Well then, what's that person's name? Um, Takayashiki. Sakuto Takayashiki. Takayashiki Sakuto. Sakuto Takayashiki, huh? After that one incident in the arcade, my daily life changed just a little bit. For example, when I get to school, G good morning Morning, Miss Usami. First thing in the morning, Miss Usami would come and talk to me. But then after school... I was waiting for you, Sakuto. Well then, why don't we get into it? I would play games with Miss Usami at the arcade. 
There was such a gap between her personality inside and outside of the school, but I started to fall for her even more. And then, finally... Hey, Sakuto, this upcoming Saturday, would you be free? And at school, I was invited to go on a date by Miss Usami. Of course, I answered immediately. I've been wanting to get closer to her from before, so this was a question from heaven. It would be impossible for me to not get my hopes up. And then the day before I was about to go on the date with Miss Usami... Hmm? Miss Usami? Right outside of the arcade, I saw Miss Usami cornered by two older guys. I could tell that she was afraid. That's why I panicked and ran over to her and... <coughs> What's the matter, Miss Usami? We didn't do anything! Uh, that's right. All we did was invite her to the arcade, and then she started crying out of nowhere! After I glared at the two men, they disappeared right after, but... Uh, Miss Usami?! Sakuto! Suddenly, before I knew what was happening, her arms went around me. She must have been really scared, because she was squeezing pretty tightly. And then, I heard the most shocking words next. Ever since middle school, I have always liked you. What? Really? Until now, I didn't have the courage. I couldn't be sincere about it. I'm sorry. No. There's nothing to apologize for, but wait, why did Miss Usami just start telling me how she feels? But there's a girl that you're really friendly with other than me, isn't there? What? I'm really sorry for throwing myself onto you. Uh, wait, Miss Usami, what are you talking about? Well then, I'm going to go now. I see. I don't get it at all. I really don't get it, but I can't let her go like this. Maybe she was telling me how she felt earlier as a farewell period. I rushed to chase after her, all the way to the train station. I finally found her, inside the train station. Oh! Miss Usami! What? Sakuto? She had a surprised look on her face. But I went to get closer to her, and then... Huh? What's going on? There's something I want to confirm with you. You like me, right? Well, that's... Yeah, I do, but... Right, well... Then I've made my decision. What do you mean, your decision? I like you too! Huh? Will you please come and go with me? What? Does that mean that we both like each other? Well then, I want you to prove it. Prove it? I want you to prove that you are okay with me. Then suddenly, Miss Usami closed her eyes and she offered her lips to me. I didn't hesitate, as my lips touched hers. And then... Sakuto and Hikari? Wait, what are you doing? Huh? Two of you? Miss Usami? Oh, Chikage? What do you mean, we're kissing? I see. Hikari and Chikage. So they were twins. This is definitely very much not good. 20 minutes later... Well then, introduce myself. I'm Hikari Usami. Nice to meet you, Sakuto. I am Chikage Usami. Nice to meet you. This is way more awkward than I could have imagined. Chikage, please don't be mad at Sakuto. This was all my bad. What do you mean this was your bad? I was pretending to be you and meeting up with him. And I was wondering when he was going to notice. Hey, Hikari?! The prank of identical twins trading places. What is this? YouTube content?! But I also made a mistake, so I can't be mad at you either. In front of the arcade, those two guys came over to me, and apparently a girl that looks a lot like me was coming to the arcade a lot, and they tried to chase after me for a game. When I told them that they had the wrong person, they seemed to understand. But then, that's when I heard that you were being friendly with a girl that wasn't me, Sakuto. And... Sorry, that was about me. And those guys might be people that I'm always playing against in the fighting game. I guess my last name is pretty rare around here, so, uh... Ugh, so that's why you're trying to be me. So that you could keep fooling Takayashiki? I was just starting to think that I should tell him the truth about everything. I had already fallen for Sakuto anyway. What, what did, did you say? say?! Is this what they call a feeling? I fell in love at first sight. That's why I thought I should tell him the truth, and then ask him out. But then Sakuto asked me out first, and then he hugged me and kissed me, and... What? 
Wait a minute. I was the one that asked him out first. This isn't fair. Well, I am the older sister, aren't I? You need to give me those lips right now! And then what are you going to do? If I kiss you, Hikari, then it would mean that I kiss Sakuto too, right? No, it won't. What is that? A transferred kiss? <laughs> Hikari, calm down. Stop it! Don't ride over the kiss! Ugh. Oh, what do I do? I think I'm finally starting to lose my mind! Well, what do you want to do, Sakuto? P please go out with me! I thought the twins would be over me by now, but instead... They both chased after me today! But in my mind... I'd already made my decision. I know that saying this might be a little... Uh, but... I like both of you! What?! And therefore... I can't date either of you. Sorry. Uh, what? With the both of them being twins, there was no way that I'd be able to choose just one of them, especially because I want the two sisters to always get along. But then suddenly, the older sister Hikari lit up with an idea. Well, then why don't you make us twins your girlfriend? What? If we do that, then isn't that going to make everybody's wishes come true? Well, that's true. I like both of them. And the both of them like me. However, when you think about it, isn't that going to be bad? That feels like two-timing. I may be two-timing, but it's not cheating. That is, as long as Chikage and I both accept it. Uh, if it was any other girl, I would say no. But maybe if it's you, Hikari. And that was what happened. And in the end, the three of us ended up in a relationship. But are you sure people aren't going to find out about this? Don't worry. You just look like a guy that's been caught in between two twin sisters and that we all get along. The fact that the three of us were dating was a secret. And from now on, I wonder how my life was going to change with these two twin sisters. Well, I'm surprised nobody has noticed. It was exactly as we said, right? I don't think anybody would assume that the three of us were dating. Yeah. But they can feel the hatred from everybody around pointed at me. By the way, where are we going today? <laughs> to a very fun place. Is this... Wait a minute! That's right! Welcome to the Asami house! We have already prepared everything for you. Don't worry, we're not asking you to meet our parents out of nowhere, so don't worry. As long as we're here, we can do things that couples are supposed to do. I see. Huh? What did you just say? Ta-da! We prepared costumes for today! Uh, this is a little embarrassing. Please don't look too much. Why are you in cosplay? Huh? Isn't this the standard of showing hospitality to your boyfriend? Since when did the standards of the world change? I'm pretty sure all standards went out the window in the moment the three of us got into a relationship. Well then, Sakuto, are you going to take both of us twins? And, and love, love us? us? There I was, surrounded by twin sisters that were at my service. This was bad. One of these days, my logic was going to fly right out.